Our final category will be from grade 10 to 12. Please welcome Ilham. Hello. Welcome. I'm very honored to talk in front of you today. I'm going to be talking about a very serious matter that everybody, every of you, every one of you, has to be aware of. It's animations. Now you might be thinking, like, animations, really? The topic that we have to be really aware of is animations? Yes, yes indeed. Like, those behind those innocent-looking, you know, characters, there lies a very dangerous world where it stands like manipulation and danger. Nowadays, what do we do? All of us, even me. We go enter like YouTube. We have this favorite animation series or any kind of like short films. And we go and watch random videos. We do this while we walk, while we talk, while we eat, or even like when we sleep, right? And we do this like a lot in our lives. This animation takes a very big space. Now, let me address a very crucial point, especially for parents here. What do they do? They have like their crying babies. They lend them like tablets. I don't look iPads, any like smart devices. And then they'd be like, okay, the kid is quiet for now and everyone is relaxed. For the next two hours, what happens? These kids watch the same tune. The bus goes up and down. You know that one song that everybody's a victim of? I am. And it's very hard, I know. But leaving this aside, they, those kids don't just stop like, by that single video. Unfortunately, they get bored. And then they'd be like, okay, I'm gonna watch another video. And they're not satisfied. Next video, guess what? Not satisfied. And they do this for like a couple of hours. And you cannot even keep track of what they are actually watching. So in the researchers, it is concluded that those kids who watch these animations excessively, they tend to start talking at later age. For example, if a kid starts talking at age one, they start talking at age three or four. They tend to learn later than their peers. And they even have arrogant behaviors. Now, this is concerning. Why? Because they are the next generations, right? So, but it's just because of their kids, you know, you might think that you're adults, like you're grown-ups. I can't like, differentiate between what is right and what is wrong, and I will not be affected by a mirror animation. Well, you're wrong. Actually, this is why you're getting manipulated, because you're being less cautious, so you don't care about what you watch. Okay, well, everybody can watch animations, it's fun. It's all okay, because entertainment purposes, right? Some like, might be really tired from work, and they just want to like, you know, relax, maybe it's from school, and they come and watch things. It's fine. But after a while, unfortunately, this might take another step. And it becomes what? Obsession. Teenagers these days, what do they do? They have this very favorite character, okay? And then they want to be like them. They want to talk like them. They want to, I don't know, run, act and everything. They want to even look like them. Can you believe? Some people, some of those teenagers, go under surgeries to achieve this goal. I, myself, saw this character while walking like down the streets, and I was like really scared. I'm not kidding. I was like, what is going on? And this actually affects people so bad, as you can see. Not only this. Let's say The Simpsons, for example. Oh my god. For the ones who don't know, it's an anima animated TV series that gained fame from predicting future events. Many. Even now, it still does. It predicted events like COVID-19, how Donald Trump is going to lose his power, and many more. So, now it's like, it's very fine still. I don't believe it. But some people do. They do believe it so much that they actually take this as a religion. Can you believe? Many people do this. Well, let's say Ed Simpsons um, published another episode where aliens come and invade Earth. Oh my God, aliens are coming. People will believe this. I'm not kidding, they do. And so they're getting ready, like, they're paranoid, they're scared to death because aliens are going to come, right? Now, it escalates like, very quickly. You might think, oh my God, so this is actually very serious, right? So, let me ask you another question. But it's going to be out of topic. Who likes to cook? I see many of you, right? Many of you like to cook. I'm much of an eater. I, I don't really like to cook. Yes. Um, so what do you cook with? A knife, right? You chop off vegetables, you know, meats, and make delicious meals to your loved ones. But some people with malicious intents, what do they do? They take this knife and commit crimes, just like the animations. 
People do it for entertainment purposes and humor. But some take this and then use it for manipulation, changing your ideas, political views, religions, morals, beliefs, and personal identities. Can you believe this? Now, does this mean that we like, do not have to like, watch any animations at all? No, because they're, they're literally manipulating me. Of course not. In fact, watching these animations, they can literally boost up your creativity. They can do much more. But it is just important, it's very vital to know that the difference between the reality and the manipulations from these animations are really finer than you can dare to imagine. Thank you all for listening.